So there, I think you can always find a way if you really want to, to slouch. Um, I don't, if it helps again, like if it helps you um, really stay upright and provides those reminders and that feedback on, on a regular basis for sure. But a device alone is not going to solve your problems. Does that make sense? It does, unfortunately. I was hoping that the stool would fix everything. Yeah, no. no I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go into, and I'll, I'll open it up for some more questions after this. Um, I can show you a few things. So this is a lacrosse ball. You can also use a tennis ball if you're just starting off. It's a little um, softer. And what I like to do to like release my like suboccipital muscles is lie down and just rest and kind of roll around for a while. It can be uncomfortable depending on how tight your muscles are and how often you're doing it. So take it easy on yourself. I would, I would say the lacrosse ball is the most draconian. Um, similarly, I will use this um, on my lower back. Um, usually up against the wall or when I'm lying down. Um, sometimes I have too much of an anterior pelvic tilt, so my, so my muscles get really constricted. So I'll do that there. Um, and then the muscle hook for my upper traps, what I'll do is it has like a, you can use some leverage here, there's a handle. So I can start to massage right here without having to go like this, which kind of starts to create some dysfunctional patterns anyway. And then you can also kind of get to your occipitals here and any other parts of the lower back or even upper back that, that are tense. Um, and then the massage star, my masseuse introduced me to this. So this really helps with um, my neck muscles and scalenes. So I just kind of, I almost scrape along the muscles here. What happens is they get really kind of grainy um, a lot of tiny knots end up forming. So I'll kind of just sit here and massage for a while. That looks really painful. Uh, if you do it, just, just take it easy, really. Um, and then after a while, what I'll notice, I'll look in the mirror. One of my shoulders will end up sitting lower because I'll have relaxed it so much. So then, you, of course, you want to balance it out on the other side and, um, and make sure you, you're always promoting balance there. And then um, my foam roller, you can get one that um, has like bumps and things on it. I don't have that. I know people who do and it helps them, but this I'll use to like roll out my lats, especially under like right under my <laughs> essentially armpits while I'm lying down. Um, and that helps ease the tension there. And then um, stretches after you massage, you wanna do some gentle stretches. Um, for your scalenes, you can just kind of, if you're tugging, you can tug right here and look up diagonally. There's the traps, which you can slightly tip your head and hold it there. Again, please don't hurt yourself. Don't do it until you hurt, but you should feel a little a stretch. Um, for your pecs and like your upper chest muscles, um, for, for yoga, if you're familiar with downward dog, doing something like that and pressing your chest towards the floor and maybe doing a similar thing against a door. And um, let's see, is that it? I think that's, and then for your occipitals, sometimes I just do try to keep up straight and then tuck my chin. Um, and that helps stretch those out too. So any questions about those? I know you said, you mentioned it earlier, how often do you do those stretches during the workday? Um, I do them, I start off stretching every day, um, stretching and massaging every day because one of the things that I think can happen is in your sleeping position, especially if you're on your side and you're in the fetal position, that's basically another way of rounding your shoulders and getting into the hunchback position. So. Sometimes I'll wake up and my posture will be at its worst. So I'll spend five or 10 minutes 
st uh, massaging and stretching what feels the worst. And then throughout the day, I've gotten a lot better about paying attention um, to how I'm feeling and, and balance. So I might get up and, and do it once or twice throughout the day. Yeah. And you had mentioned earlier that you also had some lower back. Mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. So what kind of stretches do you do for your lower back? Um, touching my toes is pretty standard. So, and I would recommend when you're, you're standing up and, and rounding over, um, again, don't, don't press too much into it. Um, I also do twists that helps with my upper torso too, to loosen it up. Um, but also with some lower back mobility. Um, but what really helps me get in there is the lacrosse ball when I'm lying down, um, that helps me relax. And then sometimes against the wall. We use lacrosse balls in one of my favorite yoga classes on Saturday. Oh, the Just let it dig right in there. <laughs> so it's it can be uncomfortable, but super effective. Yeah. Any other questions? I don't see anything in chat. Oh, you're welcome, Kevin. Um yeah, so in closing, I would recommend um, watching Esther Gokal's talk on TEDx Stanford, um, looking up at least Alexander Technique and what it does and, and how it helps promote spinal alignment. Um, there's a really great site, posturedirect.com, that helps advise on all the strengthening exercises that you would need to do to, to compensate for those, um, the weaker inhibited muscles. And then um, you don't have to buy all of these fancy things. You can still do the stretching, but the lacrosse ball is like, I don't know, five bucks on Amazon, which I think at this point you'll have to wait a month for. Um, but it's all pretty cheap. Yeah, the Massage Star is $17 on Amazon, I checked. Nice. Well, yeah. you know, massage therapists are open as of Friday, so <laughs> in Georgia, but you know, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to see mine anytime soon. No, yeah, but maybe they should start selling supplies. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing webinars. Um, also keep in mind, I'm, I'm not a medical professional, so um, I would recommend going to see one before you take or, or really do any of these things in earnest. Um, don't push to the point of pain. Of course, stretching and, and some of these things can be uncomfortable, but um, you know, if you feel pain at any point, you should stop. Awesome, if there's no other questions, I'm gonna stop recording. Um, and then 